Welcome back to day 7 of the 31 Days of Horror series. And today we're talking about Wes Craven's The Serpent and the Rainbow. A snag. A snag. An underrated gem that deserves way more love than it gets. This flick is like Indiana Jones if Indiana was tripping balls in a voodoo nightmare. You've got zombies, voodoo, and Bill Pullman running around trying to survive in Haiti. It's insane in the best way. Let's start off with the basics. Our guy Bill Pullman, who plays Dennis Allen, an anthropologist who goes to Haiti to investigate some zombie legends for Big Pharma. Because, of course, of course. But this isn't your usual brain-eating zombies. No, this movie dives into real Haitian voodoo and zombies created by a drug that puts people in a death-like state, only to have them wake up buried alive. That's right, folks. If you're scared of being buried alive, this movie will have you sweating bullets. Now, here's why this film stands out from your regular horror fare. The Serpent and the Rainbow doesn't rely on cheap scares or buckets of gore. Instead, it messes with your head, giving you nightmare fuel with a side of dread. It's all about creepy atmosphere, insane dream sequences, and practical effects that are still wild even by today's standards. I mean, there's a scene where a freaking snake shoots out of a dead woman's mouth. How does that not get more attention? And then, there's the infamous nail the ball scene. Yeah, you heard me right. If you're a guy, you'll be clutching yourself in fear for that entire sequence. Ah, I cry. And that's the thing. Craven knew exactly how to hit those primal fears, whether it's being suffocated, buried alive, or, well, just nailed in the junk. But it's not just the horror that makes the movie great. Craven threw in a layer of a political commentary. Filming during real political unrest in Haiti, the film hints at the power structures in the country, blending real-world fear with supernatural terror. It adds a level of authenticity and grit you don't always see in horror. The Serpent and the Rainbow is one of those films that stick with you because it doesn't just scare you, it gets under your skin. It's atmospheric, it's trippy, and it's terrifying without needing to rely on the over-the-top gore. So if you haven't seen it, do yourself a favor. Grab some popcorn, turn off a light, and prepare to have your mind fucked with. Thanks again for watching, and be sure to check back tomorrow for another installment of the 31 Days of Horror series.